So let's do this boron trichloride. And you guys can help me out as much as you want. So um, boron, how many valence electrons? Three. Well, let's do it normal. I want to already do best part. Okay, so everybody's okay with that, right? Um, would boron or fluorine be the central atom in this one? Boron, right? Why? <laughs> That's a good point, but fluorine only makes how many bonds? One bond. One bond, right? That's all right. Boron's going to make the three bonds. This is the first day you guys are doing this. You guys are doing awesome. Okay? So, are we cool with that? Everybody yes. would have gotten that, right? And now we're going to do what? Fish hooks. Fish hooks, yeah. Like that. So what particle does this look like that we built before? Yeah, that's CO3 2 minus. Right? So what was the what was the molecular structure of CO3 2 minus? Do you guys remember? Trigonal? No, pyramidal. Planar, right? Why would this be planar and not pyramidal? Because they're all on the same plane, but why would it not be pyramidal? Why is ammonia pyramidal and this isn't? Doesn't have the valence electron to push the other bonds away. Okay, so these these are not as far apart as they could be, right? So let's draw Vesper theory using Vesper theory, I guess I should say. Trigonal, planar. So what's the bond angle? Remember, bond angle is bond to bond, okay? So what's the bond angle? Predicted bond angle, 120 degrees. Very good. No, that's good. Okay, what's the electronic structure of this? Same as the molecular structure, trigonal per, uh, planar, okay? So um, how about this? What's the electronic structure around the fluorine? Tetrahedral, yeah, so the electronic structure around the fluorine is tetrahedral. You guys cool with that? Why? Because there's the four um, areas of electron density. Any questions on this one? <laughs>